My name's Bill, and let me tell you a chapter of my life that centered around my relationship with Elizabeth. Our story began back in our college days, when life seemed like a big adventure waiting to unfold. We first met Elizabeth during a university event, a chance encounter that would change both our lives. We were young, full of dreams, and ready to take on the world. Our connection was instant, a whirlwind of shared laughter and long conversations that seemed to stretch into infinity. Fast forward a few years, and Elizabeth and I were living together. Five years of shared laughter, adventures, and navigating the ups and downs that life had in store for us. Those were some of the best years of my life. The turning point came when our daughter was born. Holding her in my arms, I felt a surge of emotions that words could hardly describe. Elizabeth and I were now parents, responsible for nurturing this tiny life. Little did we know, this new journey would test our strength and love in ways we never anticipated. As our daughter grew, Elizabeth started going through some tough times. She fell into a state of depression that left me feeling helpless. It was difficult seeing her struggle, and I knew I needed to do something to help her regain her spark. One evening, after putting our daughter to bed, I sat down with Elizabeth for a serious conversation. Elizabeth, I began my heart pounding. I can see that you're going through a tough time. I love you more than words can express, and I want to see you happy and full of life again. How about taking a little break? A retreat, just for yourself, to recharge and find some peace. She looked at me, her eyes filled with a mix of surprise and gratitude. Bill, you really think that could help? She asked, her voice trembling with uncertainty. I truly believe it might, I replied, holding her hand. And don't worry about our daughter and me. We'll be just fine here. After some more discussion, she agreed. It wasn't easy to see her off, but I knew it was the right thing to do. I took on the role of the primary caregiver, juggling work, parenting, and household chores. It was challenging, but it also gave me a new appreciation for the strength that mothers possess. When Elizabeth returned from her retreat, the transformation was incredible. Her eyes sparkled with a renewed energy, and her smile was infectious. Bill, she said, hugging me tightly. Thank you for encouraging me to take this break. I feel like I've found a part of myself that was lost. And from that point on, our journey continued with a newfound sense of unity. We learned that sometimes, giving each other space and time for self-care could work wonders. Elizabeth's resilience and her willingness to confront her struggles head-on only made me admire and love her more. I was home on my day off. Elizabeth had taken her daughter for a walk in the park. There was a knock on the door. When I opened it, I saw a man standing on the doorstep. He asked me right away, are you Bill? I said yes. Then he continued, I need to talk to you. Elizabeth and I are in love. When she was on vacation in Turkey, we had an affair. We spent many nights in each other's arms. I asked her to marry me, but she turned me down. She said she couldn't leave Bill like that. So she can't afford a serious relationship right now. I understand how difficult this is for you, and I'm sorry for your loss. Everything will be fine. I'm not a poor man, and I'm even willing to hire a nanny for your child. I was shocked by these words. I said, Are you out of your mind? What nanny? What sympathy? It turned out his name was Tom. Tom said, You're Bill, Elizabeth's brother, aren't you? I angrily replied that I wasn't her brother, I was her husband. After I said this, Tom was shocked. There was a look of surprise on his face. I invited him into the house and demanded that he tell me everything in detail. As it turned out, my beloved wife, Elizabeth, had spread her legs in front of Tom on vacation, 
spread them so much that Tom proposed marriage to her. But Elizabeth turned him down with a sad story. She said she had a brother, Bill, whose wife had recently been killed in a car accident. Bill was left with a small child in his arms, and now she helps him. That's why she doesn't think about a serious relationship. After this story, I realized why my wife's eyes were so bright when she arrived. Shortly after this story, my wife walked in the door. She walked in and saw Tom. It was clear from the look on her face that she suspected her deception had been exposed. Tom came out and said to me loudly so she could hear, I think your wife has been serving men for money in hotels. As Tom left, I mustered the strength not to snap in front of my daughter. If I did, her body would have been chopped on the floor. I left that day, and three months later we were divorced.